how much time do I have in battery? Oh, I'm, I got so much time. <clears throat> we can make so many bloopers. On this week's episode of The Sauce, I teach you guys how to make glowing red lenses. And I have actual puppies. <laughs> What's up internet land and welcome to this week's episode of The Sauce. On this week's episode I'm teaching you guys how I do glowing red eye lenses and I've got some puppies. <laughs> I'm back from a decent hiatus from YouTube and after some feedback, a lot of you guys wanted to see how I painted the red eye lenses in my last video. I've stepped up my own techniques, gotten better at it, and some other feedback I got was, those are cool pictures of puppies, but why don't you have actual puppies? <laughs> I don't, I don't even have words for what's happening. There's just puppies. It's a real thing. There's just puppies. <laughs> how do you, how are you, how am I supposed to do this? I'm going to be down here for like 10 hours shooting the same video. <laughs> I took a bit of a break from YouTube and I'm getting back into it with a pretty requested video from a lot of people who have seen some of my recent work. A lot of people have seen my Chaos Space Marines Army and the Chaos Space Marine groups around Facebook and on Instagram and have been asking me a lot of questions about how I'm achieving my glowing red eye effect. A lot of people are just straight up asking me if it's LEDs. It's not. It's just some tricks on how to use brighter colors to draw your eye to it and really make you think that the eye is glowing. I'll just quickly show you guys how I'm going to get this model ready for the glowing eye effect. One thing that you guys need to understand is that before you paint the glowing red eye, the head needs to be finished. Before we get to the glowing red eyes of this week's video, we got to get the model all caught up. We're going to go just quickly through this because this isn't really the topic of the video. First, you're going to throw down a layer of Panzer Gray. Then you're going to zenithal highlight with Dalaroni white ink. Then you're gonna throw down a quick layer through an airbrush of Talisar Blue. Status update, my friggin' Masters G22 airbrush is still running and I'm painting all of my airbrush steps in this video with that airbrush. $20 holla is still going strong. One thing to keep in mind when you're painting eyes with this effect is it's kind of a little bit different than when you're painting eyes with flesh. This should be the actual last thing you paint on the model because you want your edge highlights and everything to be in place before you start adding the glowing effect. The glowing effect is gonna catch the edges differently and thus the more painted the model is, the better off it's gonna look, the more realistic it's gonna look. And so normally I would advise you to paint your eyes in the middle of painting a face but for a glowing eye effect on armor I will advise you to paint the eyes after the face is fully finished we're just gonna quickly speed through the steps and boom the head is done it's edge highlighted it's got some details on it and now it's ready for some glow the first thing you need to understand about painting eyes seems real obvious when you hear it but I promise you this really is the secret don't paint your heads attached to the model if it's possible at all paint them separate you're gonna have a lot easier access into the eyes and you're gonna get better results when the head is detached it makes it really easy to access the eyes the real secret to painting the eyes is having a head detached and then coming in from the side you'll see me using this technique throughout this video again if it's at all possible, I highly recommend painting your eyes with the head detached from the model. You'll thank me later. Hit me up in the comments when it works. <laughs> Now that we've got the head done and we've got a decent understanding of the tricks to painting eyes, let's dig right in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do for this technique is go in with Dalarani White Ink. For this whole eye process, we're using literally two colors, Dalarani White Ink and Dalarani Fluorescent Red. Fluorescent Red, Fluorescent Red. The pen is royal blue. Fluorescent red, <laughs> that's hard to say. One tip that I'll tell you about painting eyes through this technique is do not put your inks on a wet palette. It'll thin them down and they'll be way too much of a glaze consistency. You actually do need the paints to dry out a little bit before they hit the model so that they reach full opacity quicker. The first step for painting these eyes is we gotta get in there with white ink. There's a puppy lick in my face right now. How am I supposed to use it? Like how am I supposed, <laughs> this is too much. The first step for painting these eyes is you gotta get in there with white ink. White ink will hit full opacity pretty quick. You guys will be surprised at how easily it is to lay down this layer. Go in from the sides and be careful. But the real secret to this whole trick is that if you overspill the white, you're fine. Did one of you guys fart or actually poop? So many fart, this, did you smell that? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God, that's brutal. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, so the real secret for painting these eyes, this is too, how the f are you supposed to record with puppies? <laughs> 
Okay, so in the white ink step, you need to go in and paint the top of the lenses. That's the goal here. So we're gonna go in with white ink nice and carefully, and then we're gonna paint just the top of the lenses. <laughs> if you overspill right here, it's no big deal. This will help you later in achieving a bigger glowing effect. Don't get too crazy and really try not to spill, but I promise if you do, it's not the end of the world. The next step is fluorescent red and is honestly hobby cheating. The goal here is to completely fill the lens area with the fluorescent red ink. The secret here is that the fluorescent red has almost no surface tension, so when you put a little bit of a drop into the eye, it will fall off of the paintbrush, fill the entire lens, and possibly overspill into the areas that you laid down white earlier. This little bit of overspilling is not actually a mistake during this process. It makes a little bit of a glowing OSL effect as long as you can match it to the other eyeball. Now that we've got our fluorescent red in, since the ink is semi-transparent, you will see that the white layers from below shine through as pink. This instantly creates a color transition and it's kind of like hobby cheating. You don't have to do these transitions, you're not glazing layers. It's basically making them for you. Now that we let the fluorescent red ink dry, one minute, 37 seconds later, now we're ready for the white ink on top. The white ink on top is really the deal sealer for this. The most important thing to keep in mind, is this puppy escaping? Where, where are you going, bro? The most important thing to keep in mind on this next step is that white is the brightest color of the spectrum. White will instantly draw your eye to it and will always make you think that something is hotter than it actually is. We've already got our color transitions in place, and now all we're doing with the last step of this process is we're hitting a little bit of white ink literally on top of the lens. Do not overspill in this part. Now that we've got the white layer on top, boom! There's your red glowing eye, LED effect done, there's a puppy kiss in my face. This is real life right now. Here's a quick picture of the head when it's done. As you guys can see, this is a really easy process. The core foundation of this entire thought camp is that inks are transparent. So by laying down a white layer underneath the fluorescent red, the white's gonna shine through, create transitions along the way so you don't have to glaze those in. When you're working in an area as small as an eyeball, you need things to help you out and make this process as easy as possible. Inks are your friend when it comes to doing small surface things like this because of their transparent properties. A good painter will tell you that a paint with transparent properties can really be your friend when you understand how to use it. Inks for the most part are fairly transparent and you can get away with a lot of tricks. This is just one of them. This is basically just hobby cheating and understanding how to use transparency in colors or paints to your advantage. You could do this with very thin down acrylics, you could do this with inks. There's a lot of different applications and ways that you guys can test this out. Again, this is just very specific on how to do this with glowing red eyes, but I would imagine that using the Dollar Rowney fluorescent color range, you could do this with other things like blues, yellows, greens, anything you guys can imagine. I hope you guys learned something and thank you guys for all the feedback and the positive support so far. If it wasn't for you guys, I would have never shot a video with actual puppies or an actual video about how to paint my fluorescent red eyes. I'm just here to teach you guys the tricks on how to paint miniatures along the way and I'll see you guys next time on the sauce. <laughs> I think that's it. Just puppy. There's just puppy. Like, say bye, guys. Bye. Bye, YouTube. Bye. See you guys next time on the sauce. Bye. <laughs> say bye.